And welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. Last time we had an accident um, on the road. Apparently Ripburger sabotaged our motorcycle. We probably should have checked whether it was sabotaged. Um, but anyway, this person, um, who we only know as Maureen, or Mo, short, has, sa has, has saved us and is trying to repair our motorcycle, but we are missing some parts and apparently someone stole her torch. And now we need to look for, yeah, a torch, her torch, some fuel and a, a fork for the bike. But before I do anything, let us examine all the things in here. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> ah, so funny. Because, yeah, basic adventure gaming procedures. Look at anything and try to, try to use, oh, <laughs> oh. Mo. Yeah, Ben? Oh, I actually thought of something else. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh, well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Let's not talk about this. Okay. Um, what's this? A photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Oh, how cute. Uh... That's our bike. I hate seeing her like this. Oh, yeah. Why? It's really my best side. We already examined that. That's a gas can. Wish this gas can was full. Oh, a gas can. Yeah. Let's, let's believe. Uh, oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Oh, that's the reporter who found us. I heard you say, okay, let me actually stop reading out that dialogue that is voiced over anyway. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. <laughs> ah, that's heartwarming. Okay. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. <laughs> uh. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Okay, I, can't, I think we've got his, his attention, or her attention. It's really hard to tell what gender that person has. Uh, hmm. Probably somewhere between here and Corbel, I would say. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Hmm. Maybe Ripper got plans to murder Mr. Corley. Could that be a, his plan? Hmm. Um, uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All yeah. right, drive safe now. <laughs> hmm. And why does this person sound like he's nine years old? Oh, it's a, it's a girl, Miranda. Hmm. Let's not grab her or kick her or lick her. Let's examine Pretty her. Pretty small to be carrying me around. I rolled you. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. Find us a ride yet? No. Hmm, okay. I don't think we can talk to her anymore. There's a mailbox. I don't know why we would want to examine it, but let's do it. Because it's possible. It's empty. Yeah, I was, I think, <laughs> I always thought it is somewhat stupid that, yeah, the way 
adventure games are set up, you have some items and you just impulsively you click have, on them I don't have anything. I don't just because have anything. it's possible. Let's read the newspaper. Hmm. Let's take it. Hey! Hands off my paper! Hmm. I'm pretty sure you we are supposed to take a paper. I don't, Again, I don't have anything. Because adventure gaming I don't logic. Have any, I don't have anything. Can we actually leave the screen? Yeah, we can. Let us do so. Need to find out who stole a torch. I mean, Morlin's torch. That little bastard. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. I don't have anything. Hmm. I don't have anything. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to steal a newspaper, but... Hmm. Oh. Yeah, not much of a city, is it? Uh, I don't have anything. I suppose we can go back or go go there where the blinking light is. Hmm. It looks like someone is using a a torch there. I could be wrong, but let us. Let's take a look. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Yeah, I think it's probably the, f the former. Um, and he's playing some music. Okay. Let us take a careful look through this window. It's even sadder looking inside. Hmm. It's even sadder looking inside. Okay, let us um, maybe try to do a little sabotage. I don't have anything. Okay, can we can we examine the cable? Hmm. No. Okay, let us just then enter the door, I suppose. Locked, but flimsy looking. Okay. Uh. Can we just can we just open the door? Is it open? Maybe. Okay, that's not really subtle, is it? Ah. Uh. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy no Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that he is not really willing willing to open the door for us? Okay, there's a chimney. Um smells like burning metal down there. Hmm. Can I sabotage the chimney? Hello? Hmm. No. Let's kick it. That doesn't really did didn't do any. Ah, there's a sandbox. Hmm. So far, I really must say I. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Hmm. I'm really um, positively no thanks. Surprised this by this game. Has been taken over by a big dog. Uh, I think this the, the artwork is just amazing. Can I? Hmm, there's some sandbags there.
they'd just fall apart. Hmm. <laughs> I just love how we can just kick things in this game. Uh... Can I Probably all that's holding this dump up. Hmm. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, is there anything else on this screen? Hmm. Don't think so. Okay. Can I just open this gutter? This grate, I mean. Steel bars in the glass. Steel bars in the glass. Hmm. I'm not putting my lips on that. Can I just kick in the door? Yeah, that worked. Okay. Um... Sometimes the solution is just the obvious one. Let's take a look inside his fridge. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Hmm. Let's open it. What's in it? It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Can we Can we eat it? I'm not putting my lips on that. Can we take it? We took it. Okay. Uh, by the way, oh, right clicking and holding it brings up the inventory. Okay, good thing I learned that. Let's kick his fridge. No, he doesn't want to. Okay. So with some meat, um, there's a drawer. It's locked up with steel brackets. Oh, come on. Can we kick it? <laughs> yeah, to no effect. Um, that's the refrigerator. That's a sign. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Hmm. Can't take it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. No. Okay. What's that? A cabinet. Let's open it. What is inside the? What is inside the cabinet? It's empty, but there's something hanging on the door. Uh. Hmm. Ah, a lockpick. It's a lockpick. That might come in handy. That might come in handy for using it on that drawer, I guess. Yeah. A lockpick won't help there. Why? Because. Okay, anyway. Um, it's locked up with steel brackets. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the uh, fridge. Hmm. It's a bit hard to see in here. Even though the artwork is fantastic, it makes it a bit. Um, also, the lightning makes it a bit hard to see. Okay, when we come back, folks, we will, we shall, yeah, continue to look for Maureen's torch. So until next time, folks. Until then.